Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Fiona and I'm a full-time artist. And on this channel, I like to take you with me on my artistic journey, whether that means working on projects here in my studio, going out to see cool art exhibits, buying art supplies, showing you public art projects from start to finish, basically any art related content. So if that sounds like something you're into, please like and subscribe. It helps me out so much and I would really appreciate it. All right, it has been quite a journey, but this is the final episode, part, whatever you may call it, of uh, this painting series. Thank you to everyone that has watched so far. If you haven't, I'll leave links below to the other three parts, but um, in this episode, the ceramics come out of the kiln, we get all the finishing touches done for the fair, and then I show you clips from the fair as well as my reaction and how it went. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's get into it. Okay, good morning. I'm whispering because my mom is still asleep. I'm having a cup of tea and I'm going to jump into working. Let's do it.
that? No. That? Oh no. Yeah. What the hell? What? Smashed here. Something See that? exploded. Exploded. Oh, one of the cones. Yeah. One of the cones exploded. Yeah. It's really on there. Oh, it's really on it. I'm nervous. I know. If any of the explosions. Oh, that one looks good. Ah, it does look good. Oh, that, that was making me so nervous. Oh my goodness. You can see the broken bits are down there. Oh, so no. I was so afraid oh, no. that it hit. Oh no, it has it has it. I don't know. <laughs> and, and, no, looks so it nice. looks all right. It oh, bled completely. Boy. What we'll was have, that? We'll have to look at whatever that was because that didn't mess. work at all. Oh, this is not good. Not good. Oh yeah, the split one with the big marks. Looks good. Looks good. Yeah. That was another mint. Because yeah. two were mint. I'm glad we only did one rhubarb. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. We did one rhubarb, two mint, two we'll buttercup. I like this. See? I have like oh, a wee line on How it. How did that happen? It's just the, the way this glaze has caught the edge. Sometimes they do that. Oh. It's really that's nice. That's really on nice. The outside, isn't it? I like that. I feel like my marks are not good enough for the inside of this one now. <laughs> Like that, I should have done fine lines on it. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Well, striking. Yeah. So what's on the out? What is this? I need to look at the book. What was that? I'll bring the book down. Okay. Okay. All right. Hello, friends. I am back in my studio after a week of working on ceramics and I am currently uh, working on some layout ideas for the other art fair coming up so let me show you. All right so I have my two large frame paintings and I want a row of ceramics so typically when I have a larger booth um, I think it's like a 12 footer and since I'm doing the small booth again it's eight feet and with the 12 footer, I could put two, four next, like four, <laughs> I can talk, two four foot shelves next to each other. But since this is exactly eight feet, I remember last time when I tried to put them next to each other, like with the ends on there, it was just over eight feet. So it didn't fit in an eight foot booth. So uh, I am going to go to Ikea tomorrow and buy a seven foot shelf just for this. Um, and my thoughts were whether to do a white shelf or a wood shelf and I'm leaning towards wood so it kind of matches the frames and the vibe and also just having it on my wooden floor and looking at it I'm like it's not that bad so uh, we will see though <laughs> um, but this was for my main wall having the two large paintings with a row of the newest ceramics and yeah, I think it looks pretty cute. Um, here's the rest of the ceramics that I could potentially bring with me. Um, so I'll have to decide when I get there the assortment. I always try and plan it ahead of time and then I just change my mind. <laughs> so there's that. And then uh, Zelda's eating her breakfast here. I will have my print browser, which is also wood, and a small wood shelf for these because I've decided to not bring a table as it is a very small booth and I think it would just take up too much space. Um, so I'm going to have a wood shelf where I can put these and then these above. Hopefully these frames come in. I was up in the wee hours and ordered six more of them. So my hope is that they arrive in time. And then I have my two paintings tucked under here, these two. This is the frame arrive for this one, so I'm gonna do it. And it's gonna be a light wood. So I have 
the dark wood frame and light wood, same as this. And that'll be on another wall. And I guess what I'll have to decide is whether, yeah, where to put the print browser and all of that. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking so far. Biggest difference this time around to previous fairs is I did have like backup. So like if one of these sells, I was like, oh, it's okay. I have another in that body of work. And since you guys have been following along on this very long painting journey, you know that um, I just work towards finishing what could be a display, like the one display. And so if one of them sells like that say opening night, which would be great, I might have to like change my layout. So I'm gonna try and have a think about that um, while I work on things in here. Um, but for now, I have some administrative stuff uh, as well as planning. I have a lot, I have a lot to think about and I'm just gonna go, but I will see you guys later. Bye. Hello, my darlings. It is probably been a few days since I spoke to you last. Um, I think I was talking to you about booth setup, which I went in a circle one day about what shelves to use, but I ended up going to Ikea and getting some shorter shelves. And then here's one shelf for my display for the small paper pieces, which I think looks pretty good. But speaking of Ikea, I bought a futon for up here since Maria's coming in July. Um, she'll need a futon. And we haven't had a couch there since I moved it downstairs. Um, so I'm having a photo shoot Saturday and thought, well, why don't I have a couch up here for that? Because that's what the studio will look like in the future anyway. So what I'm doing today is setting up the futon and the last frame came in for that square piece. I probably mentioned it days ago. I just still just haven't opened it, but I do re really need to do that. Um, but once that piece is framed, then really it's just signing and dating stuff for the drawing rack and um, doing some like finishing touches on the ceramics, but then I'm pretty much all set for the fair. And we'll see how this body of work looks hung and how it's come together. I think it's been an interesting process because when I started this video, I know I wanted to get back in touch with painting and spend more time doing that, which I'm happy to say I've definitely done. Um, there are more pieces in the body of work. Um, I'm looking around, well, here's one. You know, the one on black that still needs to be done. And um, I think there's some smaller pieces I'd started, but I'm okay with showing the four paintings I currently have, plus the small like ink paintings I added to the body of work right now and seeing what people's response is. Um, and you know, like I said, when I started out this video, I didn't really know where it was going to go. Um, but I can say the two paintings, the big ones specifically, um, I'm like really, really happy with those. Like it's been a while since I really, really loved a painting that way. And those two have it for me. I really love them. So anywho, I'm going to stop rambling, get on top of this, but I'll probably check in with you guys maybe a few days before the fair and we'll see how that goes. See you then.
finally the day for the other art fair. If you've been following along, then you know that I have been working on these paintings for quite some time. So I'm very excited to have them displayed together and get some feedback on this body of work and kind of see what other people think about it. I know how I feel about it, which is very good. So that's really the most important thing when you're making art that it makes you feel good to do. <laughs> so I know I feel that way, but I am excited to see what other people think as well. Um, and then of course, uh, I have ceramics to show and um, I'm going to be bringing my drawing rack, all the usual stuff. So uh, I'm going to make myself some coffee, some breakfast and head into the city. I'll be staying at my friend's place, so I don't have to commute back and forth, which is always great. Um, but yeah, just gonna continue to take you on this journey and see how it goes. Wish me luck. See you over there. It is like 5.30 in the morning, daybreak is just happening, and I am awake because um, I've decided I'm going to pack up the apartment, clean up, and head back to New Jersey and pick up some um, pieces to show today because <clears throat> I've been so bad at getting footage, but um, I only have one canvas left so um I pretty much have a blank booth uh it's like a really validating feeling and this is me trying not to get like emotional because like you guys um have seen the journey of like how long it took for me to make these works and um you know the ups and downs of it and um you know, I feel really seen and um, like just speaking to the collectors that, you know, connected with the works, it's just like really validating after like, you know, I was saying how I felt very separated from my painting and just taking this time to work on those pieces and develop this body of work and it was just it just feels like uh really worth it you know um but anyway <laughs> i'm up it's 5 30 in the morning and i'm going to be heading home to new jersey to get some new things um as you guys know um the other works that had been in progress for this um body of work are not done um so yeah i'm trying to figure out what what to bring i know i have another square piece i think can go well and it's already framed and ready to go <clears throat> that'll easily replace the one that went yesterday on the side wall but my back wall 
Maybe I bring some pieces from the My Colorful Universe series. Um, or I don't know, I have Midnight Oil, which is another canvas. Um, but I am trying to think logistically since it's the last day of the fair, anything I bring, you know, I'm gonna have to bring that back later, you know, um, assuming it doesn't sell. So, um, yeah, anyhow, I'm gonna clean up, get myself ready, get over to New Jersey, um, and, you know, figure out that plan. It's funny, every time I do this fair, I've always, always, always had backups, been like, oh, that goes, this is what goes, this goes, this is what goes, and then this time I was like, yeah, I mean, if anything happens to sell, I'll just bring in the My Colorful Universe series, and now here I am, and like, those pieces are so heavy, it's glass, it's like, I don't know if I can hang them myself, like, I think I'm gonna have to maybe either get help, or I think I'm just gonna have to hang them on the screws that are existing, and, you know, they were made for those larger works, so I don't know, I don't know, I'm rambling, but I'm gonna get myself ready, and I'm going to head home, so I will see you guys later. All right, mom is here to save the day. Let's see what she brought. Da 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 da. We decided this painting, leave a blank spot to let people know she's doing all right. And then this guy, cause I already had it framed in the same size. So this is what it looks like. And then mom came in and rearranged the ceramics and stuff. So looks, looks good. going onto the website, so stay tuned. So that's it, friends. Thank you so much for coming on this painting journey with me. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed going through and seeing the roller coaster of emotions I went through, but it was very, very satisfying. And uh, yeah, I'm just happy I was able to share that here. But I will be getting back more into my routine of studio vlogs, so I hope I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay well and stay inspired. Bye.